What's going on everybody, Gourmet here with another tactic for you guys, a special tactic for this one. It is a Christmas tree tactic. For those of you that do not know what a Christmas tree tactic is, it is a 4, 3, 2, 1, because when you look at it, it's set up like a Christmas tree essentially. But yeah, we're doing that to celebrate Christmas and to celebrate the holidays in general. So happy holidays to everybody. But yeah, if you guys happen to enjoy today's video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribing is 100% free so want to hit that sub button also if you guys wish to give this tactic a go and you want to get in the holiday spirit there will be a link down below to my discord and that is where you guys can download this tactic from but without further ado let's get into the video so tested the four three two one two clubs one was liverpool the other was sporting club de portugal liverpool won the league on 82 points very interesting season within the prem where arsenal finished ahead of Man City, and Liverpool won the league, low point total, so what was, like I said, very interesting season for the Premier League, and then over here where you guys can see Sporting finished top of the league in Portugal, 28 wins, 3 draws, 3 losses on 87 points, 6 points clear of Benfica, and Sporting did very, very well, because they not only won the league, but they also won both cups within Portugal as well, which unfortunately for Liverpool, the only cup that they did win was the Premier League trophy, finished runners up in the Carabao Cup and the Community Shield. But Portugal getting a treble with this 4-3-2-1. So it definitely has quite a bit to offer. So team overview wise, Portugal scored 98 goals within the league, which is absolutely awesome. Finishing two shy of 100. I know that Liverpool scored 79, so... Sporting definitely more potent goal scoring wise with this tactic, but also Sporting also finished on 88% pass completion as well as having 63% average possession. They were also six in most dribbles made with 508 joint first with Familia Cal for most clean sheets with 16 and they conceded 32 goals, which is joint third with Benfica. So could they have conceded a little bit? Yes. Yes, absolutely. But, I mean, overall, Sporting absolutely killed it with this tactic and dominated Portuguese football with it. Now, Liverpool, they only scored 79 goals, like I said, but surprisingly, that was the most in the Prem. They also finished in most possession in 7th with 53%. They were in 5th for most tackles made with 848. 5th for most dribbles made with 742. 4th with 16 clean sheets, so both squads having 16 clean sheets each. And then Liverpool conceded 33, which was the second least within the league. Man City conceded 29. Now, for player overview-wise, we're going to talk about Liverpool first. Mo Salah had 28 goals, second Erling Haaland, who had 34. Most assists, Andy Robertson with 12, and Trent Alexander-Arnold with 11. Mo Salah with five player of the match performances. Most key passes, Trent Alexander-Arnold with the most in the league with 117. Virgil van Dijk was in fifth for best pass completion at 95%. Andy Robertson and most dribbles made, 145 were him alone. Allison in for most clean sheets, he had every single one with 16. And then Allison was in eighth for fewest conceded. Now looking at Sporting, we can see that they basically dominate every single statistical category player-wise here. Most goals, Polenio at 26, Pedro Gonçalves with 21. Most assists, Pedro Porro at 14, Arthur Gomez also at 14, Daniel Barga Bergancha, I believe is how you say it, and fourth with 10. Most player of the match performances, there are three players in there, Pedro Gonçalves with 8, Polenio with 5, Arthur Gomez also with 5. Pedro Porro finished second in key passes with 93. Best pass completion, we have two players in there, both center backs actually. Gonzalo Ignacio at 94% and Sebastian Cuata is also at 94%. Most clean sheets, Antonio Adan was in first with all 16. And fewest conceded, Antonio Adan only conceded 25. So he did not concede all 32 of the goals that we did let up. So if Antonio Adan played every single game, probably would have had one to two clean sheets more and probably would have conceded only these 25 goals, to be honest, because he is a very high-quality goalkeeper. But looking at the numbers overall for Sporting, Polenio had 35 goals, Pedro Gonçalves with 28, Rochinha, that's an interesting name, with 21, Arthur Gomez with 16, and Gonzalo Inacio with 10. And assist-wise, we've got Arthur Gomez with 19, Pedro Porro, 16, Daniel Bragancha with 13, Manuel Ugarte and Rochinha both with 11. Same with Jerry St. Eust which that's a very good signing by them. Didn't realize he was there now. Hidamasa, Marita, that is, they have some very interesting names. 
Mr. Morita had 10 assists. And the highest average rating was Pedro Gonchalves with a 7.54. So Sporting, round of applause to them because they absolutely killed it with this tactic. Now looking at Liverpool real quick before we get into the tactic itself. Mo Salah had 39 goals. Fabio Carvalho, of all people, had 15. And Diago Jota with 10. And assist-wise, Andy Robertson with 14. Same with Trent Alexander-Arnold. So Sporting... Definitely able to produce way more than Liverpool with a tactic like this because Liverpool aren't really meant to play a tactic like this, nor are Sporting, but Sporting still balled out with it. So props to Sporting with making it look super easy. So here we are with the tactic 4 3 2 1 rocking around. That is what it is called. That is what the filed will be called. Reason why I called it this is because of the song lyrics rocking around the Christmas tree. That is essentially why I call it called it this i didn't want to be super basic and call it 432 on christmas tree so 4321 rocking around is what we went with it's got an advanced forward on attack up top followed by two shadow strikers on attack two segundo volantes on attack with a deep line playmaker on defend between them two complete wing backs on support two central defenders on defend and a goalkeeper on defend now the advanced forward on attack his personal instructions are shoot more often the Shadow Strikers on attack both have crosses aimed at the far post, run wide with the ball, shoot more often, and stay wider. Main reason why I have that is because I kind of wanted them to get a, a tiny bit wider so that they somewhat act as wingers in a way. On the Segundo Volante on attack on the left side of central midfield, it is left as is. On the Segundo Volante on attack on the right side of midfield, I added move into channels. Deep line playmaker on defend was left as is. Both complete wing backs on support have crosses aimed at center and cross more often. Both central defenders on defend were left as is. And the goalkeeper on defend was also left as is. Now this tactic is played with a positive mentality. You can obviously play balance. You can play attacking as well. Positive gives you the best of both worlds. I have realized lately though, if you are down late in a game or you are wanting to really push for a goal, your opponent as of right now in the match engine cannot cope with attacking and especially very attacking. If you go very attacking right now, it will really, really help you out. Especially if it's like 80th minute on, you will definitely be able to nick a goal if you go very attacking. So feel free to do that with this tactic. I am sure it will work wonders if you need a goal because it has been working for me recently. Now, when we're in possession, the attacking width is fairly narrow. Overlap on the left and the right. Work the ball into the box. Use little crosses in the final third. Slightly higher tempo. When in transition, we counter press and counter distribute quickly and take short kicks. And once out of possession, we have a high press line of engagement and more often trigger press, aka more often press and intensity. The set pieces that were used with this tactic are my elite set pieces, which if you guys want to see how I do them, I'll be linking a video down below in the description for you guys to check out, which I will be doing another video like that a little after the new year, pro not in January though, probably more like February, I will have another video for a part two of that. Uh, because obviously things will change with the winter update and whatnot. Uh, so whenever that drops is probably when the new set pieces will drop. But being that we've gone over all that, looked at all the numbers, let's see how it performs in the match engine.
Well, looking how both teams performed within the match engine, I mean, Sporting smoked Braga and then Liverpool smoked Chelsea. And Carvalho, of all people, had a hat trick. So apparently if we play a 4-3-2-1 at Liverpool, Carvalho is going to be a world beater. So maybe Jurgen Klopp should try that potentially and maybe we will have an absolute monster on our hands. But I think the tactic looks pretty, pretty fun to use, honestly. I mean, going into it, I didn't think that, oh, this thing's going to be absolutely overpowered. I just want to do something fun for all of you. So if you guys want to give this tactic a go, Discord will be down in the description. That is where you guys will be able to find the download file. If you guys happen to enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribing is 100% free, so you want to hit that sub button. And until next time, have a good one.